everyone, this is a really quick one for you because not many of you are going to bother to watch this video because it's about a discontinued fragrance that's actually quite difficult to find. This one's been on my list to find for quite a long time. I have been searching eBay, I had a saved search and a little while ago, a lovely fragrant friend, oh sorry, the ribbon's fallen off. A little while ago, a lovely fragrant friend did send me two miniatures, but unfortunately, the juice inside had spoiled. I find a lot of uh, spoiled perfumes can smell like, uh, what's the word? Celery, that's the word, I couldn't think of it. A lot of spoiled perfumes can go like celery. And this is an eau de toilette. So generally speaking, the weaker the concentration, the less well it's going to last if you are looking at vintage formulas. This has been discontinued quite a long time. It came out in 1996, I think. I don't know how old this is. I haven't checked the batch. But yeah, the two miniatures I had had both unfortunately spoiled. So I'm going to be sending those off to a friend who collects perfume bottles and doesn't mind so much if the juice is not quite right. And therefore, I was still on the hunt for this uh, fragrance. And the reason why I am I was really searching for this one is because it had such strong memories. I wore this perfume in my early 20s, so we are talking 20 years ago. <laughs> I hate admitting that, <laughs> it kills me. I don't feel like a 40 something person, I really don't. I don't act like one either. So it has a lot of memories. I got through a few bottles of this. The reason I actually wore this fragrance is because it was important to me, even though I wasn't a frag head as such back then, since my mid to late teens, I didn't want to smell like everyone else. Everyone used to wear the same perfumes at certain stages of our lives. You know, as youngsters, we can be sheep when it comes to fashion and fragrance as well. And I didn't want to smell like everyone else. So... I used to seek out perfumes that were a little bit different. They smelled a little bit different and no one else was wearing them. This was one of those. I think I found it at an airport to start with. So I must have been going on holiday. I'm not sure. I don't recall when I first bought it, but I'm pretty sure it would have been at an airport because it's quite unusual. And I wouldn't have found it in my local boots or super drug in uh, Chatham where I used to go. And... I I think I just loved how different this was because it's quite a it's quite a sharp sweet floral. Now the note listing on Fragrantica is very long and I don't think it really gives you an idea of how this one smells. It's got apricot and peach in it and I tend not to like either of those notes and I don't really pick them out specifically. So I think they're quite abstract. To me let me give it a little spray on my shoulder so I can remind myself. So there's bergamot as well, which lends it a freshness. But again, this really doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like a natural, fresh, citrusy opening at all. It is fresh. It's fresh and sharp, but it doesn't smell like natural citruses. And the peach and apricot, I think they just give it more of a texture rather than smelling peach and apricot. I guess you would say this is quite synthetic. Nothing smells like it comes from nature in this perfume. So if that's how you like your perfumes, you are not going to enjoy this one because it does smell a little bit, it smells a little bit clumsy in a way, but it's just so fun. So it has this, it's very musky, it's very, it's quite woodsy, there's quite a strong woodsiness about it, but it's more about these sweet, sharp fruits and citruses. But I would never specifically pick out those fruits. It just has a fruity feel, like a 
a fruit salad that's been recreated by a scientist so it's not quite right and then it's mellowed right out so it's a fuzzy and fluffy and it's been covered in a soft clean soapy musk so it is nothing natural here that's what i'm trying to convey and i think i've conveyed it enough now so i'll shut up saying that it's not very natural smelling it has this icy coolness about it i'm guessing there must be some kind of clever synthetic molecule that comes across like snow or ice you know when you step out into the snow and you get you take a breath in and you can almost smell the coldness it's got that about it which i think is really clever it's sweet florals in here so there is rose there's heliotrope there's jasmine but i can't really specifically pick anything out perhaps the rose i think it does have a rosy ness but all the florals are mixed together to create a pretty multicolored pastel bouquet of flowers again almost like they've been recreated by a scientist rather than natural flowers i don't think i'm selling this too well but in a way that's for the best you really don't want to be on the hunt for this it'll take you quite a while to get a bottle for a good price but for me it's more nostalgia it's about the memory and I still enjoy the way it smells. I will definitely be wearing this. The feeling of this fragrance for me, because it's quite light and has a freshness to it, is a spring, summer, daytime type scent. Maybe even a holiday, take it on a holiday and wear it during the day. Probably need to reapply on holiday because the sun will kill it. But back in the day when I used to wear it, I got really good performance from it. It lasted the whole, I, I wore it day and night, so it lasts the whole night. In fact, it was more of a nighttime fragrance for me back then because it felt special because it was a bit different. So I wore it more on the night out and only days if I was doing something special, like going out for lunch or something like that. But I, I just love the nostalgia of it. Is something special, something different about this perfume that's hard for me to convey here. But I hope that you enjoy the video regardless. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I will see you in another video very soon, hopefully.